We welcome you into the first edition of the Chuck Benson Show. I'm the voice of the Eagles, Adam Cavalier, alongside Carson Newman, head men's basketball coach Chuck Benson. Coach Benson, you turn around and, well, it's time to start the season with an exhibition game against East Tennessee State tomorrow and then against Appala Appalachian State on Monday. Are, are you glad it's finally here? Well, uh, on behalf of our staff and our team, we're very, very glad to be playing somebody else other than ourselves. Uh, that, that practice environment sort of, uh, it's, it's, it's a good positive place, but it just sort of gets old after a while. <laughs> What, what's the best thing about finally taking to the court? Uh, you just get a different challenge. These guys know each other's games. Uh, we've tried to, to mix up rotations and lineups to keep it fresh, but inevitably, you know, it just it get, grows stale and old. Our guys, thankfully, have been pretty disciplined and have stayed focused on process and improvement, but it's time to play somebody else. How do, how do you use an exhibition game against some D1, very tough competition in the East Tennessee State to help your team improve? Well, we know and our players know that, that this doesn't count in terms of win or loss, but it's still uh, a challenge, and, it, and it's one that for our guys in particular, I think they, they go into this really wanting to put their best foot forward and, and, and sort of test themselves. You know, we don't, we don't put a great deal of a, a, a stock in it. Yeah, I mean, it is what it is. Um, and our, our prime focus really is November 12th against Lees McCray. How do these games factor into preparing for the Bobcats? Uh, you know, it's, it's interesting because Lise McRae uh, is led by a first-year head coach there. Uh, we don't know exactly what their, their uh, scheme will be. We're going to do a little scouting the next couple of uh, days to figure that out. Uh, so if I were to guess, I would say there's probably not going to be a lot of, uh, of uh, carryover from yeah. the exhibitions to the, to the first regular season game. But uh, we're just going to go and, and try to make the, the most of the experience. Just nice to get out there and – play somebody in a different colored jersey. Absolutely. And that's what this is. Uh, our guys are sort of, like I said, they're sort of tired of playing each other. Uh, we want to get in a different environment and see how they respond. First time that you get to debut players like Odell Parker and Cody Henniger in actual game situations, what do you expect from your newcomers? Well, you know, uh, we, had our, we had a little scrimmage last week, and those guys both were impactful like we thought they would be. Um, the great thing about both of them, they're team guys and they, uh, they're going to put the team first in, in terms of their play. So I think they'll fit in well with, a, with an established uh, group of, of veterans that, that sort of know how to, to get some things done on both ends of the court within our scheme. Uh, they'll fit in perfectly, I, I really believe. Five returning starters led by a pair of all-sack first-team preseason selections and Ish Sanders and Antoine Davis. How have you seen those players uh, step up and grasp leadership roles in their junior seasons? The thing I've noticed most in this preseason is how, how uh, not that they were ever selfish, but how unselfish they've become. Um, they both are, are, are potentially uh, scoring leaders in our conference. You know, they have that firepower. But they're, they're giving the ball up more, and their shot selection has been outstanding. Uh, if one thing overall offensive I've noticed this time around, it's been the shot selection. We're taking good shots, making the extra pass to get a better shot, and, then, and that really helps overall offensive production. What's your definition of a good shot? Early offense, is it uh, three quick crisp passes around the perimeter and then something goes up? How do you define uh, a good shot? Well, I don't, I don't think it's, it's just black and white. There's a lot of gray with that. But uh, we want uh, the right people getting open shots at the right time. And so, uh, you know, I, we're not going to say it's got to be a three pass and shoot. or uh, Our guys just, we've got some kids who have got a pretty good basketball IQ, and, they, and especially our veterans, they understand what we like. And, um, and our veterans understand that we've got a little bit more firepower this year, so there's no need for Ish and Antoine in particular to feel like they've got to go and make something happen. When you have other players like Odell Parker, Cody Henniger, uh, Carson Brooks, these guys can put the ball in the basket as well. And so, you know, it allows there to be some, some shared uh, – uh, we, can, we can share the ball more and guys can still produce. Chuck, it's year three for you at the helm of the Eagle men's basketball program. What's different in go around number three compared to one and two? Well, it's real simple. Um, you know, the timing of me getting this job, uh, which was, you know, mid-June, uh, we didn't really get a chance to recruit. I didn't get a chance to recruit as the head coach. And we had so many guys returning, I didn't think it would be wise to try to implement anything from a scheme standpoint. We just sort of buried our head and moved forward trying to get through year one. At the end of year one, we added our first recruiting class going into year two and a style of play on the offensive and defensive side of the ball. So what's great about this year, we have a second recruiting class with veterans that have played within the same system. We've not done anything different on either side of the ball. So now we truly have a veteran status, and you're always looking for that veteran status. So um, if anything, uh, it's year three. 
and yet on some on, in some ways it's sort of uh, we're looking at almost like it's a year two from mm -hmm. the implementation of our scheme offensively defensively and having a set, second recruiting class so we're at, we're at a good place uh, I, I like where we're at and I think we will uh, I think we'll, we'll, we'll get some benefit this year in terms of wins and losses Chuck always a pleasure good luck tomorrow against East Tennessee State thanks Adam Carson Newman, head men's basketball coach Chuck Benson. This has been the Chuck Benson Show. I'm the voice of the Eagles, Adam Cavalier, and this is CNEagles.com.